Then we go to this line and say, okay, if this exact cell, so for example, this cell has no data in it, don't this add data to my dictionary. It's not, the script is doing exactly what I say, it does not add anything to my dictionary. Although it still adds this dictionary, empty dictionary, to my huge array, to my data array. So what I need to do here, I need to check if the uh, length of the dictionary is not too big. So let's go to this uh, here and then do another function, uh, which is going to be size dictionary. And here is going to be D and it will return something. And then we're going to use this function here and say if not size of the dictionary of data then continue. So if the dictionary has no elements in it just skip it. And here is going to be a little JavaScript code that I actually download from somewhere uh, that is going to just say us how many elements is inside uh, the how many elements inside the dictionary. Let's copy, paste it here and check it. For those who is in interested, this is a very simple JavaScript code that just goes through all elements of the dictionary and returns it uh, number instead of indexing because you can't index through the um, you can't index through the dictionary but uh, with the uh, numbers you can only with the names. So this is a nice solution to solve this problem. Unfortunately, this code does not work and I don't know why. Let's have a look because it's not data, it's raw data, of course. So pull on again. It's very difficult to film in the evening, although I don't have any other time to do that. So it's again not working. I'm not very lucky today. Let's have a look inside it. If it's not working, logger.log and see me the C and let's show the preview. It will be zeros, I guess. Oh, it never actually called it. So what's the, the problem there? Why it's not calling the function? And if we command this line, oh, it's not working anyway. This is not connected to my line, and this is oh, that's silly me. It's because row data again, the same mistake need to put it there. Sometimes when you go through browser to browser, through environment to environment, you forget to synchronize the code. And this is totally okay. So if not cell data, here I also can use the cell data instead of this data. And then if it doesn't have anything inside, and again, it's not calling the side as dictionary. So the mistake is be be before. Okay, that's again very stupid. It's going to be row index this some command. Okay, it took me some time to understand what was the problem. The problem was here row index instead of I was using row date instead of row index. That was again um, because you have so many common names. The good part we don't need to do. We, we need to write this function only once. Anyway, this is exactly what I wanted to see. I see only two dictionaries inside. Each dictionary has the uh, the key that you can access the data and the data of, uh, itself, for example, here is any, this is the cloud text, this is ad groups uh, filter, and I don't have any empty dictionary. So I just need to return the whole data back. Instead of header names, I'm going to return the data array. And I'm going to return delete everything that is connected to logger in this function because I don't want it to have so many uh, stuff outside the so I don't want it to have logs for every function I have when I finish the function I just uh, delete the logger.log functions so you have we have an array each element of uh, this array is a dictionary and the uh, dictionary has the key that you can access the data and you ha it has the value of this key that we can access the data this is a very cool thing because this function will uh, that does not ask us for any range it doesn't ask us for anything else, it just tells us, okay, give us, give me the URL, I will return you the data in a dictionary, you can just navigate through this data, it's very simple and very beautiful. So just not to forget, I'm going to put this array on top, which I'm not going to use, but still I will 
keep the data here so I always remember the name of the columns. And that's all for now, it's, that's all for today. I will probably split this video into two parts because it's going to be too big. And um, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and we'll continue with creation, the callouts in the next video. Thank you very much and bye-bye.